Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be having a look at this coming Saturday's meeting here at Fanny Bay, which will be Saturday the 19th of June. With only a fortnight before the carnival kicks off with the day one fixture on the 3rd of July, Saturday's meeting is an important stepping stone for a number of carnival contenders, not least of all the three-year-olds who will be out to qualify for the $75,000 Ladbrokes Darwin Guineas. Fields, as you would imagine, are very strong this week, with some 76 horses down to contest the seven races and each way betting all day. The first gets underway at 1.41pm, with the last time to go at 5.20. The opener is the Paddock Handicap, a benchmark 76 event over 1,300 metres. And in the first, my numbers are four, two and one. Going here with the last start winner, number four, Vunavalu from the Phil Cold Stable and Wayne Davis in the saddle. That combination's been going great guns recently. They had a treble at Adelaide River a fortnight ago and then won the last here last week with Keller's Shelter. Vunavalu, as I mentioned, won at its last start. That was the 29th of May. That was a 0-70, to 70, similar grade to this. This is a benchmark 76. Got a pretty fair record at the 1,300. Uh, only had the four starts for a win and a second. And I think uh, he'll roll along from an outside draw, probably make the front and be very hard to catch. Four on top to beat number two, Rogue Runner, from the stable of Rodney Robb and Dylan Stanley in the saddle. Good to see Dylan with a winner here last uh, Saturday. And Rogue Runners had just a one start in the Territory, finished third behind Kronos. Uh, incidentally, Vunavalu's stable, mate. That was at Adelaide River the other week and I think can improve. And in for third, number one, Ash Gray, the former Alice Springs Cup winner, uh, trained, of course, by Terry and Leanne Gillette and Stan Sakos in the saddle. It's only ever had four starts in Darwin for a win and two third placings. Uh, one of them, of course, was in the Cup uh, last year. And, uh, and of course, Ash Gray uh, hasn't raced since the Alice Springs Cup, but he's liable to sprint well fresh. He's a class act and goes well on this course. In the first, 4-2 and 1. The second's the home straight marquee Trobus handicap. This is for the three-year-olds. This, the benchmark 66, one of the key lead-ups to the Guineas in a fortnight's time. My numbers in the second are 4, 1 and 9. Going here with the fresh runner obligatory, number four, trained by Gary Clark and Jared Todd in the saddle. Of course, went to Alice Springs uh, uh, during the carnival, had uh, two runs down there. Finished second on both occasions behind Valley Prince and beaten fair and square he was on uh, both runs. He takes on Valley Prince again. The only reason I'm going with obligatory on top to beat Valley Prince is the barrier draw. Obligatory's drawn one and Valley Prince has drawn 12. Got uh, him, uh, Valley Prince that is, into run second. Number one, Dylan Stanley taking the four kilograms off his weight of 61 and a half. Now, that's a key. Takes his weight down to a very manageable 57 and a half. And he's a really talented galloper. He's won his last four. He won the Guineas and Alice on the 17th of April, beating obligatory by a narrow margin. And then he came out on day four of the carnival down there, won the three and four year old mile. He's had a bit of a let, a let up since. And he's here in Darwin with his uh, canny trainer, Terry Gillette. Got him in to run second. And my third selection, number nine, grand final. Saw this horse win a trial here the other week, trained by Pat Johnson. Simon Miller, visiting uh, New South Wales based uh, rider. He's here for the remainder of the carnival. Great to have him here. He takes the mount. And this horse comes of a last start win at Mildura. That was uh, on the 26th of April. I really like the way he trolled the other day, uh, grand final. And I've got him in to run third. So in the second, four, one and nine. The third's the carnival tickets on sale are now handicapped. You better get in quickly because tickets are selling out uh, very, very fast for the carnival, which is only just around the corner. This one, the class two over the 1200 metres. Another big field here to go round, and my numbers are three, four, and seven. Last start winner number three, Crazy Lad on top for me, trained by Gary Lafoe and Paul Shires. Good to see Paul back in winning form here a week ago. Crazy Lad uh, is also a last start winner. He won in this grade and over a thousand metres. That was on the 29th of May. Was consistent in the uh, campaign prior to that. That was his fresh up run. So a really good effort. There should be improvement in him as he steps out to the 1200. Number three, Crazy Lad on top. To beat number four, Global Wonder, Gary Clark trains and Jared Todd in the saddle. Uh, resumed uh, from a bit of a break with a good third last time up. That was behind the smart May Amin, who of course goes around a little later in the day. Uh, I think can improve. That was 1100 to 1200, probably a better bet for him. Got him in for second. And in for third, number seven, Cuban Mint. Consistent type, trained by Jason Manning, Vanessa Arnott aboard. That combination, of course, won last week with Noir de Roux, so they're in form. So my numbers in the third, three, four, and seven. 
The fourth, the Karen Brown Fine Art Handicap, uh, 0 to 58. This one over the 1100 metres. Uh, tricky affair I found. I've gone with the numbers of 2, 4 and 7. Number 2, Familiar on top for me. Uh, looking for a hat-trick of wins. Trained by Phil Cole, Wayne Davis aboard. Uh, one here on the 24th of April, over 1100. Went to Adelaide River and uh, showed them a clean pair of heels down there over the 1000. Uh, has uh, two wins and some nine minor placings, or well not minor placings, nine placings from 18 starts at the trip. And I think familiar racing as well as, well as uh, uh, he is from the one draw will take a lot of beating. Two on top. To beat number four, Captain Bridges, interesting runner, trained by Gary Clark, Jared Todd aboard. Last start winner at uh, Port Augusta, was meant to run at Adelaide River, was scratched on the morning of that uh, outing. Uh, so having its first start in the NT, but um, comes here with some pretty good form. And my third selection, number seven, the ever consistent two rack road, Chris Pollard and Stan Sakos, the combination, a last start third at Adelaide River. In the fourth, two, four and seven. The fifth's the feature, the Alad broke at Handicap, uh, formerly uh, better known as the uh, Burnborough Club Cup over the 1,000 metres and it's the open handicap on the day. Uh, good little field of uh, nine to go around here and I'm going with the numbers of six, three and one. This is the big test for number six, Maya Mean. She's a three-year-old filly and Chris Nash, her um, trainer, has elected to go this route rather than to chase the uh, 1,600 metre um, guineas with, uh, against her own age group. Uh, she's only had two starts in Darwin and bolted up on both occasions by over seven lengths on, on each one. Uh, she's definitely up in grade here, but uh, goes down in weight, carrying just the 55 kilograms. Simon Miller takes the mount. She's drawn awkward, drawn out at uh, barrier nine, so the outside gate Look to her to be pinging the gates and going to the front. Um, just, uh, I can see her um, having too much toe for this lot. I think she's very smart. I've got her on top, number six. To beat number three, Thermosa. Interesting runner, trained by Rodney Robb. I won a trial here last week. And young Dylan Stanley in the saddle. Really good record this was. 22 starts, seven wins. And um, uh, failed to finish last time out when uh, the horse bucked. Uh, soon after the start, but had won two previous starts, including the Crystal Sprint at Cunamble. Pretty smart sprinter, I think, this horse, so it'll be interesting to see it first up under race conditions, uh, on, in Darwin, that is. And in for third, number one, Irish Mint, trained by Heather Lehman, Jared Todd in the saddle, uh, won a trial here a week ago. Uh, Quality Act has won 10 races, this horse, and last started on the 14th of March, when second at Port Lincoln. In the feature, going with the numbers of 6, 3 and 1. The sixth, the Silks Darwin Handicap, so 0 to 64, the first of two 1,600 metre races on the day. And I'm going here with the numbers of 1, 2 and 7. Number one, Skeldak racing well for Emma Steele. Paul Shires takes the mount. Adam Nichols uh, would probably have been aboard, but he had a spill in track work just last Saturday and Chippy not um, yet ready to resume. Hopefully he'll be back uh, on Saturday week. But Skeldak uh, last started uh, behind, highly decorated in the Adelaide River Cup. Finished third on that occasion. Um, and uh, pretty good form uh, to recommend around highly decorated. So one on top for me. To beat two Eagle Ridge, John Peacock, Casey Hunter. The combo, the source last started on the 29th of May, finished second behind highly decorated. So going around that form and in for third, number seven, It's Magic. Uh, really good run first up in the top end uh, this campaign for Heather Lehman, finished second behind Floriot Pika at Adelaide River and Sonia Wiseman. Good to see Sonia back uh, in the top end for the carnival. She takes the mount. In the sixth, the numbers are one, two and seven. And our last of the seven on what promises to be a great day's racing, the Pitch Perfect 26th of June handicap, another 1600, this the zero to 58. And my numbers here are three, one and two. Going at the filly, the three-year-old Manor Jim, number three, trained by Angela Forster and Jason Lyon. Jason out of quarantine, as we mentioned last week, will rode a winner, so uh, he'll be uh, rearing to go. Drawn awkwardly in barrier 12, that's not going to make her task any easier, but I just like the way that um, she uh, has been hitting the line. Two runs back, finished uh, second behind Valley Prince and Alice Springs over a mile. And then when uh, reproduced again on the 29th of May, finished third here behind Sia Cam. Uh, she's heading towards the Guineas, all going well, and I've got her on top. To beat number one, Momentum Amethyst, never runs a bad race for Kerry Petrick, Casey Hunter aboard, third here last week over this trip. Just tends to get out of, her, out of his ground a little bit, needs to hopefully race a little handier. And in for third, number two, the auditor, Gary Clark and Jared Todd, the combo. Won his last start over 1300, that was the 29th of May, and he's always to be considered in a race of this nature. In the last, three, one and two. 
Uh, the best bet of the day comes up in race six, number one, Skeldak. I just think he uh, finds a winnable race, race six, number one, Skeldak. Well, the best rough is in the fourth, number six, Celtic Bell. Uh, race four, number six, Celtic Bell. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk, but we'll be back again next week to preview Rowan Cup Day, one of the big days on the car, uh, on the calendar, that is, and, of course, the unofficial start to the carnival, the day we call Day Zero. And until then, good luck and good punting.